How's it going guys? So today we're going to solve the uh, coolest question which is sine of the product of an array. So this question is like saying like uh, we have a function sine s that returns 1 if x is positive. So like if this x is positive then it will return 1. If this x is negative then it will return uh, minus 1 for that. If this x is 0 then it will return 0 for that. Okay so we have to uh, check these things. Alright, so this is like quite simple like uh, so basically like how I did it for in the first instance is like I just simply use an brute force approach in which what I will do, what I did is like uh, uh, I'm just uh, I'm just you know kind of just uh, taking too much time complexity in that one because of O n square I'm using O n square time complexity why because like what I'm doing I'm just going to the loop for two times I'm using nested for loop okay and I'm multiplying nums i with nums j like that I'm just doing like that so that's like a stupid thing like uh, if you like you you can do this for, uh, in, in front of the interviewer but like actually you don't have to do this question by using that I'm just giving you an idea like if you want to do it by the brute force like in the in front of the interviewer this question will come then how you can do it okay so just like simply multiply and if uh, is less than zero then it is uh, uh, negative if it's greater than zero then you say is positive if it the s product is uh, uh, zero then you say like it is equals to zero then just return zero for that so that's a simple one uh, like and i'm going to do with an another simple approach which is very very quite simple like in which we are not dealing with uh, and it time complexity I, I get the time complexity is off and uh, I think yeah and space is like uh, off one only okay so what I'm doing is I will just simply say okay let's take int negative in the first intense as zero okay we don't we don't know what is our negative so let's say at, it is neutral it is zero I will use the for each loop for this one I will say it will go for for int i till nums till our array okay all right in this one I will say if i is 0 if i is 0 then I will simply return 0 for that as simple as that now I will say if my i is less than 0 then I will increment my negative okay now here's the things come what did I mean by doing this is let's just take an example like uh, if you look at over here so we have one minus sign over here one minus sign so minus minus give us plus so again we have one minus sign and we have one minus sign so minus minus plus okay so i will say like how many times i will go to the minus sign for example like if i get minus sign by even times like even times okay then it means it is positive it is it will give definitely it will give positive but what if i get the negative sign only one time okay like uh, like in this uh, zero is given okay let's talk about this one so we have one over here, one over here, one over here, so three. So we, if we get the O times our negative sign, then it means like it will definitely be negative. Okay. So for that, how we'll calculate? Like, e, like even we will simply uh, modulus it by two. And if if we get a zero, then it means like it is a, a positive number. And if we don't get zero, uh, then it means like it is negative number. So we are doing the same thing over here. So let me just show it to you guys. Just simply easing it okay let's go so it's quite simple i'm just returning it i'm using the ternary operator if you know about ternary operator that's good if you don't know then just google it is it's nothing is it's kind of like a you're using if else condition it's kind of like that okay so okay so i will say return negative modulus 2 is 0 okay then i will say question mark i will say is 1 is to minus one it can be positive one or it can be my negative one okay so according to this i will according to this written condition according to this written condition i will manage this one okay so that's what i'm doing over here so let's just finally run this code and yeah so finally submit it and here we go guys so as you see the time compressor is zero meter like it's faster than 100 percent submission so this is the very easiest and solution guys so like you can show the interval my mistake <laughs> yeah this pen is okay you can show the interval the brute force and, and this approach as well so i hope this question is crystal clear to guys i will see you in the next one till then take care bye bye